Kurahi! Cheers to that. Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Siblings react and drink. Woo. My name is Rick. This is my lovely sister. Janice. And today we bringing you a brand new series. We made a poll and this won our poll. You know about Band of Brothers? I mean I've heard stuff through the years you know I know it's like a war series. Um, you know I heard like uh, that Ross was in it from France, which I love oh. France, of course, you know, so really kind of want to see uh, You know see him, but yeah, I mean that's pretty much it, you know Look forward to seeing it now came out years ago. I think it was 2000 maybe mm -hmm. don't remember exactly but it was the early days of HBO and Spielberg and Tom Hanks, I think they're the producers. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure who directs them but anyway, it's a, it's a good story. It follows the 101st Airborne Division, mm -hmm. uh, Easy Company, mm -hmm. during World War II. And I can tell you, they're all, it's all based on true stories okay. of the soldiers that were there, the survivors, mm -hmm. obviously. Mm -hmm. And so it's great. All right. I'm excited. Let's do it. Here we go, guys. Uh, what are we drinking? First, yes, we're having some mimosas. Oh, Nice neat. Sunday morning cocktail drink. And I made this one a little more traditional because I used orange juice, even though it's not even, you can't tell by the color, but I used a blush champagne, so, you know, gives it a little bit different flavor. Cheers. Salud. The USA is in a war with Japan. We couldn't believe it. Well, our country was attacked. Maybe we're just dumb country people, but where I come from, but... Uh, wow, yeah. I said, who would like to volunteer for the Airborne? So he says, what the hell is the Airborne? Oh. <laughs> hmm. New concept? Hmm. Fellows in that town were, that were 4F committed suicide because they couldn't go. <sighs> wow, hard to believe that, huh? Hmm. That's what had to be done. Hmm. Yeah. The guy giving the, the speech was saying, but you get paid $50 a month more. So that made yeah. it 100 bucks. <laughs> Double. <laughs> yeah. June 4, 1944, a pottery, England. Yep, I see a lot of familiar faces already. Probably best not to try to name them or anything. But <laughs> huh? Probably best to not try to name them, you know? Jump tonight. The evasion has been postponed. We're on a 24-hour stand-down. Okay. Sergeants, take yeah, they had to postpone the, uh, the attack many times because of the weather. I can't see how you people can pass hmm. up. They're not even, like, paying attention because they're probably so, oh. like, traumatized with everything. Oh, the adrenaline's still in their body, I yeah. guess. Yeah. Yeah, this guy for sure. Seen him in so many things. Yeah. I he was married he, to Aunt Polly, Aunt Polly yeah. from Peaky Blinders. Mm -hmm. Back in Chicago. Happy hour, huh? <laughs> yeah. Happy, Happy hour, hour right in now. Chicago. <laughs> there you go. Could have been born earlier, Nix. <laughs> what, and give up all this? Or what empire? I think he, Ron Livingston had a, a role a in what empire also. Yeah. If we survive. Yeah. In 12 days of that son of a bitch, and here we are. <laughs> Who's that? Maybe Ross. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Ah, uh, see? There he is. The <laughs> Christian monkey, Ross. Ross? <laughs> Did he have a monkey or something? Yeah. Pet monkey. Sir. Volunteering for the parachute infantry is one thing, Percante, but you've got a long way to prove that you belong here. Your weekend Damn. pass is revoked. That's harsh. You so on the Chevron, Sergeant Lipton? Yesterday, sir. Long enough to notice Jeez. this. <laughs> oh my god. Rust on the butt plate, hinge spring, private mm -hmm. bullshit, revoked. Mm -hmm. That was before this, then. In the later series, later years. When is he are, Nate? Yeah. I wouldn't take this rusty piece of shit to war, and I will not take you if to war. If it's rusty, isn't that more deadly? What? If it's rusty, it's more deadly, right? There's people tetting us and stuff. Mm. Second platoon I like your jacket. <laughs> of course, yeah, it's nice. Excuses. Excuses. 
Why don't you come here, look at these trousers, get down, and you tell mm-hmm. me if it's a tree All right, song. let's go on the road. I don't think it matter, dude. He just was picking on whatever, you know. We mm. done? Yeah. Did they just quit? Well, I know they're Easy Company, but I don't see anything easy about Easy right? Company. I mean, he's trying to make them tough. I get it, but it's a little too much, you know. Long Ranger? Oh, yeah. Did he say Ryo Silver? Yeah. Well, that was his horse's name, right? Silver? Or yep. Ryo Silver? I think it was Hyo Silver, right? No. Oh. I don't know. I'm sure we'll hear it in the comments. <laughs> Yeah, tell us in the comments, yeah. and I don't remember my Lone Raider thing. I used to watch that when I was a kid. But yeah, the Lone Ranger. It's been yeah. a while. What is his name? Um, if that's even him, I don't know. Yeah, I gotta see him. Him? Yeah. That is him, right? Except he's clean shaven here. Yeah. Lieutenant Silver does not hate Easy Company, Private Random. He just hates hey. you. Thank you. You're special. <laughs> so I want canteens out of belts with the caps unscrewed. Easy company, canteens out of belts. Oh, it's cold. Look at On that. my command, they Shit. will pour the contents on. Abraham. His name was Abraham. Abraham. Okay. Now, Lieutenant. Right. Pour him. Oh, man. What? What a waste. Oh, the one that got fooled by Eugene, right? Yeah, Eugene fooled everybody. Private Christensen, you Jesus, have disobeyed man. a direct order. You will fill your canteen and repeat. All 12 miles of the march immediately. Yes, sir. Hey, you gotta learn how to follow orders, man. Uh, yeah. Small or big. If you don't follow the small ones, that's gonna be the big ones. Mm. <laughs> this is not dog company. This is not fox company. This, this is easy company. Their infractions and your disciplinary recommendations. Are- Jesus. Wow. Find so, man, yeah, you don't ask your commanding officer a question, <laughs> except how high <laughs> Lipton, Mux, and Garnier. Why them? Oh, uh, yeah, <laughs> what did say? It was their turn? It was their turn. Mm-hmm. They just they random, yeah. yeah. You just broke both your legs, Ouch. Private Gordon. Are you trying to get yourself killed? Yeah, you no, gotta sir. learn how to. How to jump, how to fall, how to land. With a sar- drill sergeant in another movie, he told him, I'm going to teach you how to pee. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Or something like that. Oh, Jesus. Oh, get used to the yeah. smell of blood, the smell of poop, the smell of everything. Yeah. Why are you here, Private Not Gordon? easy. I want to be in the airport, Not sir. to mention when someone else minutes. gets shot. You know, they get right. shot in the abdomen area. Poop splatters everywhere. Nothing easy about Easy Company. Nope. Oh, and this guy got punished? Yeah. In but full it's very gear, possible that it wasn't. Full gear, I think, is like probably 70, 80 pounds. If I'm, between 60 and 80 pounds of gear. Oh, look, the rest of them joined them. Oh. or They few. joined them or they also got punished? <laughs> oh, yeah. They probably well, just... Uh, why don't you do it? Hmm. <laughs> Is he gonna give it to him? Well, he kind of has to. Two hundred prophylactic kits in his footlocker. How in the name of God was he gonna have the strength to keep to... your bayonet from getting rusted? <laughs> These men aren't paratroopers yet, Lieutenant. They have no personal property. Wow, it's a little overboard. Yeah, he is overboard, but. That's what he thinks is needed or some whatever, you know. United States Army property, which was taken without authorization. Mm. Get rid of him. Wow. All weekend passes are Should canceled. people out, man? Come on, man. Don't send their war going on. The, the only, the best line and only line I know about Ross is when he says, we, are, we were on a break. That's the only line I can applaud. We were on a break. <laughs> I know a little bit about friends. I am designating you mess officer for 14 days. Okay. Report to the mess kitchen uh. in 0515 hours. I like spaghetti. 
Oh yeah, I like spaghetti. Mm. Spaghetti and just spaghetti, no meatballs. No. I mean that looks delicious with the bread and everything. Mm. Same spaghetti. This is oh, oh great. Well, you should know that calling this crap spaghetti is more than safe. He's like, I didn't say I didn't want it. I'm just saying it's not <laughs> legit, you know. Three miles up, three miles down. And he's the one that said serve spaghetti and everything. On a waste. full stomach with spaghetti? That's heavy, yeah. Probably did it on purpose. Uh, well, I guess, you know, the enemy doesn't care. No, of course. Uh, again, he's got his reasons for doing Cease it. Ceasefire! We, we, we just ate spaghetti. Okay, we'll attack you tomorrow then. <laughs> no. More pain, no more courage. Oh, boy. So he's trying to weed out all the known hackers mm. on his beloved. It's good, I guess. I mean, if he really thinks that's the way to do it, they have him in that position. I mean, I yeah. think, uh, you know, because a war, they're not going to be able to... No, of course, you know. Like, they got to be ready for everything, you know. At yeah. least they experience... Five exits from a C-47 aircraft scheduled for today. One of the things I think uh, the military, I think all branches do that. They do the... They put them in a room and they put in uh, gas. Oh. What do you call the gas? Uh, tear gas? Tear gas. Mm. And they all come out puking and yeah, whatever. Yeah, of course. But there's people that have been complaining about that. So I think some branches, or they, they stopped doing that. Because mm. poor little mm. young people, whatever. Remember what you were taught? And I guarantee you gravity mm. will take mm. care of the rest. I mean, it's yes. scary to jump out of a plane. But that's what they have to do, you know? Yeah. Wow. The last training for him, too. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the fact that he goes up with them and stuff to do it, that shows something, yeah. too, you know? In the aircraft or at the door, and I guarantee you, you will. Yeah, well, obviously, you know? Yeah, so they get kicked out of the airborne, but they still have to do their military service. Yeah, least, yeah, you know? They just put them elsewhere, you know? Even if you volunteer, you sign it out of line, you're stuck with them for four years or whatever it was. Right. I don't know if the tour of duty was one year back then. Yeah. Or it was indefinite. Oh, Tell us God. in the comments how it didn't work in uh, World War II. I'm just kidding. You're shiny <laughs> new boots, huh? Mm. Or at least he cleaned his boots. Party's over. No, definitely, I see a lot of familiar faces. Yeah. Um, well, this guy's been in every war movie there is. Yeah. The right. I want you to know that I'm damn proud of each and every one of you. Now you deserve this party. <laughs> He's a military advisor in movies and actor. Mm -hmm. If I'm not mistaken. Kurahi. Kurahi. Cheers to that. So they're in a different place now. So they're in North Carolina, so this this is this is training. Yeah. Why are they wearing red? Isn't that you're not supposed to wear red in combat? Oh, well, they're training. They're training, yeah. We're in the wrong position. He looks lost, a little bit. Always. That's Ross's mo. <laughs> Here, so can I deploy your troops? I'm surprised okay. he didn't get mad that he was being questioned. Two people to carry that machine gun. See, one carries the base, the other person carries the th the actual gun. Mm. Like in real combat, they would have been dead. Because they would have shot him as soon as they're coming. I mean, plus how embarrassing, you know, in front of everybody. Yeah. He's such a, like, tough guy. Like, I'm making you do this and that. And he couldn't make a... The right decision there. Well, it's just in from the 82nd. Congratulations on the promotion. 82nd Airborne Division. Mm -hmm. we'll transfer to the 101st. Listen, if we discuss it, I think it should just be amongst ourselves. Oh, absolutely. Oh, speak of the devil. Yeah. Yes, sir. We'll say something about a map. Mm -hmm. This guy doesn't know how to read maps or something. Yeah. Yeah, because he, he, he was turned around. Oh, he thought about they were in the wrong position or something. Yeah. Right? We're in the wrong position. Yeah. You gotta admit, 
He's got no chance. Either the crowd still get him. Abraham is going to be, it's a future airline employee <laughs> with the luggage. The way he threw that. <laughs> yeah, right? The reason. Yeah, because the army. Everybody's talking about Sobo, huh? Yeah. Yeah, your life is in his hands, basically. Mm. Up to a point. This officer. Mm. Well, as such, I, of course, know, but uh, I told you I'd have to kill you. So I'm going to go to Atlantic <laughs> means they're going to Europe. If they go to the Pacific means they're going to go to fight the Japanese. Yeah. Since when do I drink? No. Well, if I thought you'd drink it, I wouldn't offer it to you. It's <laughs> <laughs> a good line. Yeah. And I had a case of a bad 69 hidden in your foot locker. Oh, what's he going to do about it if she's drinking? Age and defeat the enemy. Your frequent letters of love and encouragement will arm him with a fighting heart. Yeah, if you don't think it's contraband, yeah. Mm -hmm. Those the parents send letters of love and encouragement yeah. so I can punish them for commanding. Okay, he wrote all the parents. Mm -hmm. And wives. Man, can you imagine back then? You have to write each letter. Unless he had like a secretary do it or something, but. Um, yeah. It's, it's not like you can photocopy it or, you know. Get native girls. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, company has 100 men? Mm. Probably more than 100. Let yeah. us know that in the comments, guys. How many. I did not serve, but salute to all of you that did serve. Absolutely. Thank you, everybody, for your and service. And are serving. Cheers. Really? It's hot in Africa? Shut up. <laughs> he ain't Catholic. Neither Sobel. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. Get your nose out of my face. Oh, shit. Come on, guys. The enemy's somewhere else. That's because he's a G2. Fighting over Sobel. That's smart. <laughs> Looks nice. I'm sure he's far away from London because London was getting bombed oh. daily at some point. Okay. Well, there was a period where German Germans bombed. I think like 60 days mm. every day, but they were bombing. Advantages of a prepared position are that it gives you cover and concealment. Commence fire. Which means a lot of digging. Damn. Practicing with all types of weapons, huh? Oh yeah, you have to. Otherwise, you don't want to be surprised when you get there. Like, you know, I mean, who knows? Now, usually, soldiers didn't... I mean, I thought soldiers didn't carry uh, the Thompson. Only mm. sergeants mm. and lieutenants carry. Yes, sir. Give me the... He's lost again. Oh boy. He's good at the training at the camp, but he's not good when you're out on the field. Practical. The practice. What do you call that? The. Yeah, field. Field work. Smock. Get his movement. Oh, yeah. Yes. You tell us. You got it. You got it. This guy's a sergeant. He's got chevrons. Broke silence! I think it's Major Horton, sir. Why are you shouting? Oh my god. What is the goddamn hold up, Mitch? Oh my god. <laughs> Jerks. Fence. Oh, that dog just ain't gonna hunt. Haven't sold in the first platoon? It's a T intersection. We improvise. Double envelopment. Like everybody knows it except for him. He's kind of making his own decision because. Time's a wasting. This yeah. first group had a long time to practice. I mean, train. I think like a couple of years worth mm. of training. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, let me go back this way. Great. <laughs> Where are you going, oh, guy? Poor guy. Oh. Now, Yanks, you've captured me. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Is that how you expect to? Would that be there? Shout in battle too. The enemy. <laughs> <laughs> who yeah. was the idiot who cut that man's fence? Oh, man. Horton ordered you to cut the fence. Yes, he did. 
Major Horton is on leave. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, man. With Captain Sobel's compliments, sir. Hmm. <laughs> no, sir, I do not understand. Your orders Why? Because he went ahead without him, remember? Like he just made his own decision? I telephoned. I'm courted with a family that has no telephone. And sent a runner. No runner found me, Captain. <laughs> make your shit up. Yeah. You failed to do so. Or to let such a failure of duty by my own XO go. Great. So, your options are quite simple, Lieutenant. Some bogus. Initiate a letter of appeal and request a trial by court martial. So for two Jesus. months, no weekend passes. For some something he just made up. My endorsement, sir. I request trial by court martial. Boom! Damn. Enough for your BS. It's war time, so I don't you. think the punishment is going to be that much heavy. Oh, it's Al Capone. Right? Boardwalk Empire. Yeah. yeah. Play Lock and Palm. So we're going through with this, right? We've got to do something. Which is another HBO yeah. show. Yeah. yeah. This guy's. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of times you see them in. You know. We could be lined up against a wall and shot. Oh, man. Follow that man into combat. Go to combat with him. <laughs> well, wow. yeah. Look he's, what's happening. He answered it better than me. Yeah, so far, like, he's failed mm -hmm. at that, you know? These are all not commission officers. Mm -hmm. They will, but I mean, right, boys. if enough people are complaining against one person, they gotta hear. Turn in your stripes, collect your gear. You are hereby transferred out of my regiment, sir. Demoted and transferred. Mm -hmm. You consider yourself lucky. I'm only busting you to private. Wow, mm -hmm. I'm sergeant to private. <laughs> Spare your lives. Good. Wow. Get out of my office and get out of my sight. You just punish two of them. <laughs> yeah. And threaten everybody. That was easy enough, I guess. Mm -hmm. Better than getting, getting shot. <laughs> He's like, what are they doing? Yeah, what, what are, are they all doing? my sergeants doing in there? Man. Back to square one, Al Capone. Yeah. <laughs> All of the other NCOs in your company to turn in their stripes. As staff sergeants, they have a great amount of influence, sir. But as I say, the rest are good men. I know them. I, I can... <laughs> Man. Your command of Easy Company has been exemplary. Thank mm. you. You trust them a lot. I believe you fielded one of the finest companies of soldiers I've ever seen. Wow. Frankly, I can't think of anyone more qualified to command such a school than you are. <laughs> if I can't punish you, let me re reward you. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, it's a good trainer. <coughs> it's just uh, the field command that. Who will be replacing me? Lieutenant Me and from Baker. Who cares? Mm. Okay, as long as it's not uh, Winters. No, sir. But we were on a break. <laughs> wow. Whoa, he didn't, even, he didn't like, have to salute back. Wow. Disrespectful. Yeah, what's up with that? Alright, it's pissed off. It's the Germans? Well, some of it's from the Germans. Some of these tailors knocked up. It's you, ladies. Well, Australian, I don't know. Why do they have a Luger? Don't go shooting them. Why are they disguised as Germans? I don't know. Mm. <laughs> I'm confused. Army has to offer under the worst possible circumstances. And they volunteered for it. Christ. And they volunteered Because I'm spending time to get to know my soldiers. I mean, come on. You've been with these guys this guy for what, two years? He was in army wives, I think, right? Never put yourself in a position where you can take from these men. Wow. Mm. This guy's really... Wow. Wow. Maybe not so much, because... Yep. Bearing zero... Four. Trying to figure out where they're going to go. Mm. Okay. Ramsbury. Pottery. So. Normandy. It's Normandy. Mm-hmm. Boom. Her divides two beachheads, codenamed Utah, go. here, and Omaha, here. 
Seaborne infantry will hit these beaches the English in English did Juno and I forgot what else. Canadians did another beach. Lieutenant Meehan? Yes, Duke man. Sir, are we dropping tonight? When it's time for you to know, we'll let you know. In the <laughs> five hours before, the 4th Infantry lands at Utah. Five hours. Garrison. Three-day supply, K rations, chocolate balls, chocolate... I read the book written by, uh, shit, Omar... Man, Bradley, Omar Bradley. Mm -hmm. He wrote the book. He's the general that planned the invasion. He mm -hmm. was under Eisenhower. Still getting mail, huh? Heavy. Condoms? I don't know, probably. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta love cops. Damn. Listen to the If you did hey, anything. Don't let your families miss out on ten thousand dollars. Hear that, Jerry? Ten thousand was a lot of money, I guess. And the one guy was happy if they gave him ten thousand a year for killing Hitler. Damn. Well, I'm sure he doesn't know. What do you think I should do? Oh, man. Monte Casino, Italy. Now or never, what if you die and don't get to tell them? Any idea how the hell this thing works? <laughs> Colonel Sink. Somebody sold the government some BS. En route to the great adventure for which you have trained for over two years. That's why they gave us ice cream. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, jump. Tonight, the invasion has been okay. postponed. We're on a 24 hour stand down. So we're back where we started. Man, it's gotta be hard. You're like all ready to go, and they're like, not tonight. You're like, can't see how you people. Well, it's the same, uh, same day now. Oh, when we started, right? Because yeah. they went back, and now it's okay. I see. Oh, you found out anyway? How did you find out? Uh, Bill Garnier's brother. Mm. Monte Casino, I think that's Italy. Yeah, they, they mentioned Italy. Oh, Italy, okay. Because I remember his brother, he said the brother was in Africa. But mm. now, from, started in Africa, they moved to Italy. And then the biggest invasion was... Man. Normandy, in France. Have we seen this guy smile? Yeah. Some half smiles here and there. Yeah. June 5th, June 5, 1944, Pottery Airfield. Hmm? Yeah, June 6th. Uh, June 6th is D Day. Mm. So, so they're there. Day before, yeah. Hmm. They're supposed to jump five hours before the invasion. Mm. What you might be looking for. Function like that. Get jacket by mistake. Sorry. You read it? Oh, that's the one with the brother that passed mm. or was killed. I'll meet up with you over there. So instead of saving Private Ryan, we're going to do saving Private Bill. One now, another 30 minutes in the air. There mm. we go with the army giving people pills. Yeah. I'll see you in the assembly area. Okay. How uh, heavy they are that they need help. They need help, that. yeah. Even to get in. Hmm. What did he say? 80 pounds at the last minute of equipment? Yeah. You know, like anything else, it affects every person differently. Go. Interesting factual story when D Day happened. The German Fuhrer he had taken uh, sleeping pills. Sleeping pills? So, and everyone was afraid to wake him up. Oh. <laughs> or wouldn't wake up. Man. But he took command of a tank division. Mm. And they were requesting the tank division to come help, but since no one. He didn't wake up. My God. But even after he woke up, he didn't think this was the main, uh, the main yeah. attack. He thought Patton was going to lead the attack. Yeah. And Patton was in charge of a fake base. 
Yeah. And so he didn't really think this was the main attack. So there's more to winning a war, man, than just, uh, you know. Oh, having yeah, of course, of course. More men or more equipment or more technology, whatever. You still got to use the good old-fashioned poker face. Yeah. <laughs> wow. It said June 5, so I'm confused. That was June 6, the day. Enjoy the view for now, my friend. Mm. The score is pretty good. The what? The score of the movie. Oh, yeah. The show. Yep. Wow. Crossing the English yeah. Channel. Oh, check it out. Read that for us. Soldiers, sailors, and airmen of the Allied Ex what is Expeditionary Force, you're about to embark upon the Great Crusade toward which you have striven these many months. The eyes of the world are upon you. Wow. Good luck. And let us all beseech the blessing of Almighty God upon this great and noble undertaking. General Dwight D. Eisenhower, Supreme Allied Commander. Yeah, on the Allied Forces. Which includes pretty much wow. half the world. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, that was a good well, episode. That's the end of episode one. Yeah. We saw a lot. <laughs> there was a lot going on there. So Ross didn't have a... Didn't have a... A, a very long role. <laughs> big role, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, it was, a, it was definitely... I mean, he only made it through the first episode. Not even the, all of it. So, you know. Yeah. So, yeah. Good. So that was... A little iffy with Ross being on the show. But it was Ross. Ross. <laughs> what was his name? Uh, Sobel. Yeah, Sobel. Yeah. They sent him somewhere else. Man, I'm usually horrible with names. I'm getting, okay, so Sobel. Yeah. Yeah. Winters, Sobel. Yeah. I know Bill. Mm-hmm. Abraham, I don't know his name on the show. Yeah, no. I'm still, like, still like learning the names. Ron Livingston. I forgot his, and I looked at it too, and I can't remember now. Yeah. All right, everybody. So that was episode one of Band of Brothers. Yep. Thanks for the recommendation. So far, so good. Yeah. Uh, good. We'll catch you in the next one. All right. Later. Bye.